Today on Plane Display, we'll be reviewing the Star Wars Return of the Jedi retro action figure Luke Skywalker. Let's go. And why I'm so excited to go ahead and tell you guys about this action figure is this right here is a retro reproduction of the Return of the Jedi action figures that came out in the early 80s. I was a real little kid. I missed out on Star Wars craze for Empire and the original New Hope. This one, I would still find these in uh, stores here and there. Mom and Pop stores, Drug Town, uh, just you name it, they'd be in there. I got a bunch of characters, but I did never get Luke Skywalker. And this is one of my favorite versions of Luke Skywalker. So um, let's go ahead and open this up. I can't wait any longer. I'm a big fan of how they handled the packaging. Got all this wear and tear on the edge here, though. does have a little retro thing there. I like the fact they put the Kenner logo down there. Just really cool. The bubble itself. You know, it also has the 40th year anniversary of Return of the Jedi. God, that always makes me feel old. And on the back there, they still got some uh, more of that wear and tear. Got a little outline of what they tend to do this collection, all the figures in it as well. Uh, just very cool. Otherwise, the rest of it's standard issue Hasbro. Taking this figure out of the box takes me directly back to like the early 80s. I, like I said before, I'd never had a ton of Star Wars toys, but man, these were always something special to get though, for sure. Now the head sculpt looks very similar if not perfect. Like I said, I never owned this figure to what the Star Wars head sculpts looked back like back then, though. Not a lot of movement, though. But in all honesty, though, the thing about Star Wars is the story. The fact you can recreate missions you had. You could probably fight. You could have this little Darth Vader actually won or Luke went to the dark side. And that's the great appeal about Star Wars. Is like the story never ends. Everybody's got their version of Star Wars. And having action figures like this spawned a whole gener spawned multiple generations of creativity so of luke's weapons in hand i want to go ahead and point out a few details this lightsaber is going to look very similar to what was offered back then some people are going to play like why didn't they make it more detailed maybe make the handle not green i'm okay with this i wanted a figure that looked like something i could not afford when i was a kid and for the most part i don't want to shovel out a lot of money for something that you know i could get a repro of uh the blaster always a cool touch though um, I don't really remember him using a blaster a whole lot later in the movie, though. So, um, but to me, it's always great to have. And the final accessory that came with the figure is the cloth cloak. It feels like every action figure for the Return of the Jedi line when it came out originally had a cloth cloak in it. Do for my final review of the figure, though, all in all, I'm going to give the presentation and build quality pretty good. I didn't see a lot of scuffs or any marks. Paint looks really good. This looks and feels like something you would have got in 1983. Uh, most people are going to complain because what Mattel does with their He-Man retros is they'll have like better movable joints. I'm fine with the fact that the elbows don't move or the knees or anything like that. I want to experience what the toy was back in the 80s. So you're probably wondering why am I so excited about a figure that's just a repop of the original when I should just shell out the old original money that would have more value and everything like that. But here's the thing. This one complete is going to go for about 50 bucks. And the last one I saw on eBay was a lot of damn money, too. The nice thing about this, I can get two of them. Why do I need two? I'm going to use these. These are going to go on my set. I'm going to have fun with these, okay? The problem is, with the original and vintage Star Wars, I like them, but I'm almost afraid to do anything with them. I don't want to lose accessories or anything like that. So, for the price of two of these, still cheaper than getting a complete loose, um, loose Skywalker. You know, so... Gonna have fun with it. That's the important thing, I think, with any collection. If you're not having fun with it, really, what's the point of collecting, though? But thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end, though. It's much appreciated. Feel free. See, I just dropped it right there. Probably, <laughs> probably I'm gonna miss a lightsaber or something here. But feel free to leave a like and subscribe and then comment. Always answer back to those comments. So thank you guys so much.